All right, brother-in-law Shannon here hitting a six iron and much improved, much improved grip. Way to go. Okay, I used to tease you about your grip, but you've done a heck of a job of getting organized with your hands. So awesome, okay? Now as you kind of move the club back, a lot of good things here. Um, you know, you want to be, we'll work on a few little pieces here, but a, a good athletic event back to the ball. And you can kind of see where this ball went, you know, it was hit kind of low into the left. And this is a, a guy that's, you know, looking at the ball and hitting it with, you know, a good amount of energy. And the, let's see what the machine said. Machine said you put, uh, Foresight said you had 72 miles an hour club head speed. Club path was in to out, which is great. You miss hit it pretty poorly off of the toe. Okay, the ball was like a snap hook low left. So the face was a little bit close to the path and you hit it. You had a very good swing circle, meaning that when I, sway, when I say swing circle, a swing circle, like a, when I move the golf club, imagine if I was G.I. Joe standing inside this hula hoop, okay? I could swing the club and say your target line is kind of along this carpet for lack of a better word or you know, parallel to this T-score you're standing in. The swing circle could be wildly to the left, it could be wild, widely to the right, or it could be pretty neutral to where we want to hit the golf ball. In your case, it was very neutral to where we want to hit the golf ball. It was three degrees. One degree and one minute on a clock is six degrees, okay? So you were, your swing traveled on a circle pretty nicely to a golf ball. Granted, the face didn't quite, you didn't quite hit the center of the face. You hit it on the toe, so it didn't feel pleasing. The clubs, th that swing you put was just a tick inside out, which is good if you want to hit a nice draw, which is what a lot of good players play, and which most golfers don't do. They have wildly steep over the top swings. So that was really good, Shannon, as far as your neutrality of swing circle. The reason I tilt it this way is golf's a game played on an inclined path. It's on an inclined circle. That's how the club is built, right? So you, you did a nice job of swinging this thing athletically. Now, coming back to... Let's take a look at something here. <coughs> Put these swings back up for a second. Okay, when you look at the guy on the right, I look at a posture that's, you know, not bad, a little bit, it could be a little bit better, okay? So let me just hit one for a moment here. Let me just hit a shot. I'll take the club. If you just stand over there out of the way of the cameras, that's great, okay. Okay, so path, very similar, 2.3, you were 3.0, so negligible path difference, okay? Um, club head speed a little bit different, my speed is a little bit more than yours, mind you, you can, you can swing plenty fast, that's not the issue here. Um, my golf ball went pretty straight, a sliver to the right, 364 side spin is just, that's just a, that's just a fraction of a, a ball that moved right a little bit right of where I intended to hit it, okay? But generally, it was a pretty good strike. Now, when we come back here and look at a couple of these pieces in comparison, I'll put um, my down-the-line posture versus your down-the-line posture, okay? We'll roll this video, and just, you can take a look at, there's, you're just, in my opinion, you're a little bit too bent over, just a sliver to where your upper body's mass center is hanging out over your, over your toes just a little bit too much. I like to kind of match that up just a tick, okay? But generally good. Now it's just, it's a minor adjustment I think for you. Um, as we kind of move back into, back into these swings, okay? And if we go to impact, what do you start to notice about my foot, my right foot? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, my body's unwinding a bit. My eyes are down when I hit, excuse me, my eyes are down when I hit the ball, right? If you look at that picture, my quote head is down, agreed? Mm -hmm. And then what do you notice about the next few frames? My head's starting to release. The ball. Yeah, my body's unwinding a little bit more comfortably. You can kind of see here that 
if I highlight your right foot, it's still pinned down, whereas mine has, you know, been inspired to kind of release a little bit because I'm just letting the motion kind of carry me some. You with me? Mm -hmm. I think you're staying down because most guys learn how to play golf like you, head down, keep your eye on the ball. That's the magic elixir of good golf, okay? So if we look at it in the face-on view, you know, I'm not saying don't look at what you're about to hit. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, and every time you miss, it has nothing to do with you lifting your head. Your grip looks like a different human, which is fantastic, okay? And as we kind of move through space right here, I have no issue with your heel raise. And so as I'm hitting it and you're hitting it, you can kind of see you, the motion, see how you're not really letting that right side of you kind of, I, I would say have more of a relaxed body safe follow through is all. You're kind of on flat feet with a lot of shearing against your body, could hurt your back. Okay. Okay, because you're planted in cement with a ton of momentum tugging on you right? Being as flat footed as you are. Okay. So let's get into some, a couple of little coaching pieces here and then, uh, you know, okay. So I've put the plane mate on, I've got the short band on. You can stay there for a second. I'm going to demonstrate. In fact, let me give you a plane mate to put on. Here you go. Come over here. It goes around you. This thing goes on your right side. That D ring goes right on top of where your belt buckle would be and okay. hoist it on as tightly as you can. Go ahead and back up a bit for me. So you see there's a, just a little bit of tension in the green band here, mm -hmm. fractional, okay? So we're gonna put that little teeny bit of tension in, and this adjusts up and down the shaft if need be. Every human's a little different. And all we're gonna do is start from here, no backswing, rotate into our left heel up into our right toe, okay? okay. Now notice how I'm not trying to reach with my arms. My arms are comfortably on my body at address. And so as I'm going from my forward bend, this is me forward hip hinged here, not standing straight up and tipped over just a little bit. As I unwind and stand up, you can kind of see I was here at address. Then my buns are more under me and my heart's more up. My chest is more pointed up to the sky, okay? Mm -hmm. Rather than down at address. So this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have the club off the ground a half an inch, no backswing. Rotate and stand up, and that's it. So that's how we're going to get started. So come on over. I'll clip this on you. There you go. Good. So no backswing. Groovy. And I'm just going to make a little adjustment to so straighten up the legs a little. Awesome. This left hand, we're going to want to see this heel pad on top and that thumbprint. See how there's a little bit of a bend back right there? Mm -hmm. Excellent pair of hands right now, okay? Really, really good. So let me just come over here. Now, if no backswing, all we're gonna do is go from here, rotate and stand up. Let yourself go onto this. You, have, you don't have to go, all this going is right to here. Okay. That's stood up, okay? Let your weight roll onto this left outside of your left foot. So watch my left foot. See how this is peeling off the ground? My toe is off the ground, mm -hmm. okay? So do this with your feet for me for a second. Just put the club back in front of you right here. Okay. Good, take both feet and do this. Great, do it again. Good. So when you go to your left side over here, when you go from no backswing to your follow through, see how I'm ro rolling on the outside of my left foot? Mm -hmm. Right, good. Rotate and stand up, excellent. Good, do it again. Okay, don't move. Do it again, sorry. I'm gonna try to attempt to hold you there for a second. Okay, don't move. Good, don't move. You're good. Okay, this would be up on top of you a bit. Okay, arms would be sort of relaxed. Shoulders would be sort of relaxed. Arms in front of you. This is, there you go. So stay there for just a second. Good, you feel that feeling? Mm -hmm. You're not trying to stretch the band really any more than where it started. Okay, good. Let's do it again. Go for it. Okay, cool. And let's take a little break for a second. We'll take a look at this. So I'm just tapping the microphone so it catches, you know, just what happened here. And let's take a look at this follow through piece. So you're kind of working onto your left heel. Notice how your knees come together, body's rotated facing the target, agreed? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, let's post this. Yeah, no, I mean, this is, uh, let me post this face on here and then the face on from your first shot, okay? So if I, 
let me unlink these. Here's no backswing, but here's you just moving into kind of a rotated semi follow through. Agreed? Uh -huh. The first time you did this, you took it upon yourself to try to put the club up into some space up here by lifting your arms and rehinging your hands. Fair? Mm -hmm. But I just said, no, 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 don't do anything with your hands. Just kind of learn how to move your body. Right? Because this guy on the right, you know, this is a guy, you know, putting a club on a ball pretty well. It really does, but then really doesn't know what to do, how to decelerate, how to slow down in style. The guy on the left is learning how to decelerate what this guy on the right kind of does pretty well already. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm teaching you right now with the playmate on, no backswing, just this sense of, okay, here's the band, rotate and extend yourself because you have the ability, better than most, to take this club athletically, get it in a place where you can smack whitey, okay? I want you to learn how to smack whitey, hit the golf ball, and learn how to decelerate this safely. Okay, decelerating it safely is you kind of arriving on your lead foot, your left foot, letting your trail side get tugged along, all this momentum that you know your hands and club have. Does that make sense? Good. So set the club as though a ball is in front of you there again. Great. The left hand, I'm gonna make one little tweak. This heel pad, this part I'm pinching is the heel pad. That's on top of the grip. Okay, okay just a bit. This thumb is in the top right quadrant. Okay, this little, there's your trigger finger. There's a good pair of hands, okay? These arms are in front of you a little bit, excellent. So no backswing, show me that move again. Show me that rotation stand-up move. Good, excellent, good. Now notice how you're getting taller, perfect. That's what we want, do it again. Okay, so that's the destination, okay? We're gonna add a little bit of backswing that goes and collects a ball to that destination, not somewhere beyond it, right? It's gonna be a little short shot, 40, 50 yarder, okay? okay. So we're gonna add a ball. So set up with your mildly new posture. Now I'm gonna come back in here, don't move. You went back with this left hand to that, oh, there, okay. okay, excellent. Club's a tick off the ground, just so I could slide a business card underneath it. We're gonna add just a sliver of backswing, cl clip whitey, and then come over here and stand there. And okay. that's gonna come join the party, and you're gonna be there. Okay, okay? do your best whenever you're ready. Itty bitty backswing, go to that, go to that destination. Hands look great. Okay, good. No, no, no. That's okay. You missed. It's fine. Do no, it again. I just missed it. Yep. Narrow stance. Okay, you, that's okay. I know you missed. That's absolutely fine. Go to that destination. Miss again if you, if you need to. Okay, excellent. Good. Do it again. That was amazing. Now, now do your best to, when you're over here, see if you can't organize yourself. Look at my foot. See, it's not flat. Mm -hmm. It's on my heel. You know, I'm heel toe. Okay, show me. Hang on one second. Okay, go to that destination. Hands look great. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at this, pro <coughs> this progression. Okay, so here you are making this motion. And you'll see just how much more golf like this looks in. You know, we've been at this 13 minutes and 20 seconds, okay? So, super long time. And now the numbers, the path was in to out four degrees, the speed was 75 miles an hour, which was the same as your, quote, full swing from a little while ago, but it was that a full swing? I didn't really. Of course you didn't, wow. of course you didn't, but it still had speed. I know you can go much faster, I've seen you go faster. But let's take a look at how this looks you know, by comparison here, okay? So the guy on the left did a little bit of, from the ball into a finishing form. The guy on the right just made a swing. Um, you know, I've known you for years because I married your sister, right? You were part of the deal, uh -huh. okay? The head's uh, responding, it's still a little late, but let's take a look at this like post-impact position compared to this post-impact position. Right? Well, the it guy. Like it, but it looks more. No, no, completely. The guy on the left is starting to learn how to slow down in style, okay, to break the momentum correctly without tearing your body up, okay? So, you know, this, the, and it's, if I link these, let me link these, and we start to move these, you know, together, 
that like that behavior, take a look at the guy on the left versus the guy on the right, it's not even close. You see my point? Okay. You look like a golfer on the left screen. Some of you might even say, Shannon, you have a nice golf swing. They might say you have a good they might they might say you have a good shot, you hit a good shot from time to time, but the guy on the right, they're not gonna they're not gonna compliment you because it you don't slow it down properly. Okay? So if I show you the down the line swing, um, down the line on the left. Notice how much the postures improved like pretty, Im pretty immediately. I actually think you could get a little taller, a little closer to the ball, meaning that this window, like say I, you know, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get that back to address. So, you know, this window to me is, could be just a sliver. Let's go do that again. This window could, you know, be a little bit taller just a little bit. You know, I'm going to say something like this. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. we could, you know, so it's much, much better than the guy on the right. Again, more back safe. Okay. So, you know, let's continue with developing this out a little bit. Come on back to the mat. No ball, right? Put that little bit of tension in. Just to get that heel pad on top. So there's the heel pad of the left hand, right? That sits a little bit on top of the grip. Quite good, excellent. So, yeah, there you go. So no backswing, ready, rotate and stand up. Excellent, do it again. Rotate and stand up. I should be safe right here, good, do it again. Okay, yeah, rotate and stand up. Good, add a little bit of backswing and then go to that destination. So now no ball, add a bit of backswing, brush the mat, rotate and stand up. Okay, excellent, good. Good. Really good, okay? Let's put a ball, let's put a few golf balls there, see if you can clip a few. And again, obviously I want you to look at what you're trying to let the club hit, right? Mm -hmm. But then understand that there's a deceleration that's safe, that lets this trail side not get kind of stuck to where you're gonna get too much shearing from momentum. Okay, get your good left, your heel pad on top. Okay, that looks nice, good. The club is just a millimeter off the mat. Yeah, a little closer. There you go. You can tap the mat to know where it is. Great. Let's go ahead and clip it and go to that finishing form. Just that little bit of a destination. Go for it. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Really good. Do it again. This way is great. Okay. Very, very good. This, uh, just be mindful that band, that's okay. It just gets wrapped up a bit. I can feel it. Yeah, it should. Good. You look great. Heel pad on top with the, with the gloved hand. Right hand looks nice. Good. Club's just a sliver. I got you. Club's just a sliver off the ground. So get, there you go. Brush the ball and brush the mat. Hold your finish. Okay. Very golf like. Okay. Like surprisingly golf like. So we watch this. It's going to play back a couple times. I mean, this is, you know, an awesome. You know, an awesome development in a short period of time. I mean, you move, you move athletically fantastic. And now we're starting to, you know, have a bit more back safe in this event. So let me save, let me put these up here and you'll see what I mean here. Okay. So is it this one? Yeah. All right. So face on, face on. Now the dude on the left, you don't need to have your, you know, your face up so much. Like, being in better posture doesn't necessarily mean, let me explain, um, let's go face on, okay. Being in better posture, hang on, stay there, you're good, doesn't mean having your face up. Because notice how, how much of my face can the face on camera see? Yeah, because my hat's down, right? So that is in better posture, having your face up. I'll let your eyes rest down. I just don't want you to kind of reach you in back, you know, the center mass of your upper chest too far out over your toes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So eyes are still peacefully down, right? But you're just, your center mass here of your booty and your chest is like walking comfortably. You know, that's what it looks like. When we see an old guy like this, it looks uncomfortable because you know his back's working to keep this upper body from, you know? So in golf, we do need some difference from the booty and upper body, but we don't want it to be excessive because then during the swing, we start to get thrown around balance wise, okay? Mm -hmm. so. But let's ch let's check out this uh, cool swing. 
So Grip is like, I don't even know who you are, you're an imposter. Because that Grip I saw in Denver was like, if you was a fork and a knife, you couldn't feed yourself with that Grip. Okay, so now watch what's happening. The guy on the right was a before swing, okay? The guy on the left, with a little bit of training, notice how the body is responding. You get my point? Quite yeah, nicely. Well, yeah, the guy on the right looks like, you know, if, that, if the guy on the right tees off in front of you, you're concerned. It's going to be a long day. The guy on the left, look at the footwork, look at the knee work, look at the pelvis. It's quite nice. You get my point? Okay, now, what, you know, what, what you've been doing now, let's go both cameras, let's do one. Okay, so the, let me kind of walk you through what's been kind of happening here. A little bit of subconscious too. Come on over here. Okay. So you've had this band on, right? And the band is something that, you know, instinctively you mildly resist because it's, you, you don't, it's a band. You want to kind of put it in awareness and, and you did a great job. And you started off with these little swings just to this semi follow through. And then we added in a little bit of backswing, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Right? Which you, you know, you added a, enough to and you hit some pretty good shots, 130 yard little half shots. Okay, perfect, right? So the sense is here's a radius that we established by this little one or two pound tug on the band. And then, you know, and for the viewers, keep in mind, my brother-in-law loves golf, but he is, you know, he's a choppy chopperson, broccoli chopper to the nth degree who can make a par or birdie randomly, but it's like a mess other than that. So when I saw him in Denver, like it looked, his grip looked like Harley Davidson special, room, room, it was on, so, on there so strong. So he made a really nice looking change to that. Now your paths you've been delivering have been inside out, just fractionally perfect, man. The, the, the club head, let me explain, I'll use one of these to explain, because it has no face, okay? So here's a shaft and a weight on it, right? So you've been doing this, perfect. It's been passing through this circle perfectly, okay? All good players, which I, I don't want to qualify and call you that, but you're on the way to it because the circle of the weight is traveling on a nice circle, all of the hula hoop, which is aiming down the target line because you've been very, very consistent with that, okay? You're not some steep and deep swing, slicer who struggles with a path that crisscrosses a ton. You've been having a very good circular delivery of the weight of the club. That's part of it, okay? The magic isn't that. The magic is where the face is pointed. You, you tracking? Face control is really the magic in golf. The, that's not to say I want you to put both hands on and squeeze the crap out of it and try to guide it. I'm not. But by your efforts to get a nice left hand on here and build your right hand on, and then these little swings that are like semi, you know, three-quarter-ish kind of events that you're doing and letting the momentum pass you at the bottom, rotating into your lead heel up in your trail toe, that's how you're going to have, instead of this kind of head down slappy guy, that's how you're going to have a little bit more control of how this face works through its rate of rotation, collects the ball with your very nice reliable path you already have, by the way, okay, to where you start the ball sort of in the field of play most of the time. Nobody hits it in play all the time. We all hit a cockeyed I do too, okay, so but you're gonna have a pretty good chance of that now that you have a decent grip. Right now you're in, you're in uh, innate senses are to like kill, okay? It's just to smash the daylights out of it, I get it. Typical guy, you wanna hit it far, and you do hit it far. But the point is, once you kind of put in this little push and you move the circle of this, right? Which you do really well. Now let's be aware of where this face is pointing. Tell me when this face is pointing at the target. Is it pointing at the target now? I don't think so. I think the face is pointing at that wall over there. Oh, I meant like it's on the same. Okay. Place. Okay, sure. It's on the circle, yeah. right? Maybe we'll call it that. But there, the face has a rate of rotation. Is it pointing at the target now? No. No. Is it pointing at the target now? Yeah. yeah. Did I have to try to do anything flippy floppy to do that? I didn't. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's what you have to learn. You don't have to try to have some crazy hand articulation to hit good shots. Build your good grip. Have structure in these arms. You know, this will present itself fairly reliably. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So let's do, let's go through this one more time just for another brief one. No ball to the semi fall through, just a couple of these, okay? Then we're gonna have no ball, little backswing to the semi fall through. Then we're gonna hit a ball, right? And then we're gonna take it off and see how you feel with it off. Okay, here you go, come on over.
So no ball, no backswing. Heel pad of the left hand on top of the grip. Come on. So here's what I, what I see. Your comfortable left hand puts the left hand on like this. There's the heel pad to the left of the grip, okay? Watch my heel pad. I'm putting it on top of my grip. Make sense? Mm -hmm. That puts the thumbprint, a, a sliver to the top right of the top of the grip. Good. Okay, so no back swings. Go to your tiny follow through. Semi follow through, show me. Excellent, good. So you pass that course, okay? No ball, brush the mat with a bit of a back swing. Great, let's do it with a ball. Hold on one sec. Okay, clip the ball, go to your semi follow through. Really, really good, smashed it. I know the band, you're not used to the band. So pretty good contact. Your path was exactly what your path should be. Okay, the belt moved around a little bit, I get it. Okay. And then that was awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. Go ahead and you can just leave the belt on if you want. Okay, but now the body's rotating, you're extending yourself. Okay, here you go. And don't worry, the camera puts on 25 pounds. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so weird, of course it does. You feel like you got, yeah, ghosty arms, right? So do me a favor now, pay oh. attention to this heel pad, okay. right? That part I'm squeezing has, should be on top of the grip. Excellent. There's your nice structured arms. Put the club face behind the ball. Okay, okay. good. See yourself going to your finishing form, which you did beautifully a few times in a row. Collect the ball, good. Cool, now I really like that, but you know, instead of the recoil, let's take a look at this swing. Okay, much better. It'll play through a couple times, but I'll, I'll stop it here. So, you know, a lot of really good athletic motion in this golf swing. We'll talk about this Elvis Presley knee a little bit. But much, much better as far as, you know, how you're, quote, getting through the ball. I just call it slowing down with style because the ball's already gone at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... You know, final thing in this, in this half hour lesson, all right? So you're doing a great job. The thing I'd be mindful of with you is, you know, golf is a game. We're trying to be reliable. We're trying to be consistent. That's what everybody wants in golf. We want to be able to go out and have some idea that when they hit it, the ball's going to sort of go where they want it to go mm -hmm. relatively reliably, right? Okay. Your footwork is a little bit of kind of Elvis Presley, you know, and... Let's, um, where is my, here it is, here. Let me get it. I have a ball, just to kind of feel, get it out of there, that the sensation of, by having something in here, like, and purposely feeling, you probably feel a lot more resistance in your pelvis. I want you to turn your hips a bunch. I just don't want this left knee to collapse as much as it does, okay? So put this thing just below your crotch and just above your knees, okay? Awesome, okay, a little higher. Perfect, and put your, and don't hit a ball. But make a, make a backswing for me and feel how nice and slow going. Hands look great, way to go. Good, make a backswing. And feel how that left leg now is something to buffer against. So see how you're, you kind of want to let that right leg of yours meander to the right? Like your right leg wants to go to the outside of your right foot. Mm -hmm. Really effective golf swings. See how there's an angle in here, Shannon? Like when I take my feet and I put them wider than my hip bones, now I start to create an angle between the outside of my foot and my hip bone, right? Well, r swings that are, tend to be more reliable, when we turn, that angle t to, tends to stay in place. We don't change that angle a great deal. You see what I'm showing you here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you make your backswing, it's, it's almost as that though, you know, make your backswing with me. Good, turn, 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 turn. Don't let this meander over too far to the right. Make okay. sense? Okay. So watch my hips for a sec. Look at this where my mic pack is and where the Playmate belt is. My mic pack is gonna go toward the target. It doesn't go toward away from the target. You see my point? Yeah. 
And so, so my hips are rotating. My right pocket, my glove po or my glove is, is actually going toward the target as it rotates from where it starts toward the target. And that helps me stay a bit more centered rather than something that is adding an element of complexity by moving away from the target, right? Just a bit more centered rotation, okay? okay. Great job, dude. You did awesome. Way to go. Awesome.